East Wing's a really important building for us. There's really critical clinical care delivered there. For a 21st century hospital, it just wasn't acceptable. Anecdotally, I've been told that it leaked from the moment it opened. And I don't know if that's true, but certainly by the time that I came, we had nurses putting down towels on the floor to mop up the rain. We talked about potentially knocking it down, but actually what we did was a much more sustainable, achievable solution. Our remit was really to create a space that A, was watertight, and B, improve the uh, environmental performance and uh, thermal performance of the building, and then the provision of two main bed lifts. And that's been fantastic for the emergency department. We save nursing time and we save porting time. One of my jobs at the beginning was to choose a team that would successfully deliver this complicated project. It took a bit of getting used to working with so many stakeholders, but it's what we've done before, and the only way really is to do it is engage yourself collaboratively. We found in excess of 50 significant stakeholders. We knew we needed to work as a team to actually pick up all of the issues and look at how we could mitigate um, because we knew that actually remodelling the East Wing was going to be very difficult. One of the problems with the, this building is that it's a very restricted site. We couldn't land any more columns on the, on the floor. We knew that we had to make it as lightweight as possible. And we needed to develop a lot of bespoke solutions to connect old with new structure old cladding with new cladding and that is not a very easy job because it is not easy to adapt everything to the new standards. We had to think outside of the box. One of the good things about doing projects at this trust is that we have the guys in St Thomas's charity who have a programme of funding artworks. On this particular project we were able to involve patients and staff and members of the public in choosing the artist and we're delighted with the outcome. The most complicated part of the project, I think, was keeping the hospital running whilst the building programme was being progressed. Services had to be diverted to keep the hospital functioning 100% of the time, which was the key goal and the big driver for us all the way through the project. We undertook a lot of tests and surveys, including noise and vibration. We soon worked out that we couldn't do any percussion drilling into the existing frame because the noise basically reverberated around the whole hospital. So we used diamond drilling techniques, we used some of the uh, crushing techniques uh, as opposed to breaking. The hassle was kept to a real minimum. The team were fantastic in communicating to us when there were particular um, weekends of work happening, but actually noise was at a minimum. It's a fantastic testament to the team that they've delivered this scheme and there has not been a single patient complaint throughout the construction period. We think it's been a very successful project. It's been um, a lot of hard work has gone into trying to make sure that the constructability was achievable. A great story for the client and it's also a very environmental friendly story that you reuse something rather than demolish something and rebuild it. Now we have an attractive building that's fit for purpose but also actually makes a statement about the modern 21st century healthcare that the Trust want to deliver and I think that makes patients feel valued.